Hello friends, welcome back. Hearty welcome to you. In this session, let us try to understand the proof of Ptolemy's theorem. What it states is in a, in, cyclic, in a cyclic quadrilateral, the product of measures of diagonals is equal to sum of the products of measures of pair of opposite sides. Suppose we have a cyclic quadrilateral ABCD, then product of the diagonals AC into BD is equal to product of opposite sides that is AB into CD sum them with the other pair that is AD into BC. The product of diagonals is equal to the sum of product of the measures of pairs of opposite sides. AC into BD equal to AB into CD plus AD into BC. This is what Ptolemy's theorem is all about. So, let us understand how we can derive this formula or this particular theorem, how we can prove it. So, the first step what we want to do is, now this line segment what you see here BP is what we have constructed. What we know is only ABCD with diagonals AC and BD. We constructed a line BP, line segment BP from B on to AC such that angle ABP equal to angle CBD. Why we have done that? We want to prove this using similarity criteria. To use similarity criteria, we need to have two angles. So, one angle we can get from angles in the same segment are equal theorem, but we need to have one more angle. To get that angle, we are taking angle B, dividing that into three parts such that angle ABP equal to angle CBD. Now, we can see that there are, now we can see that there are couple of similar triangles which we can leverage to prove this. So, let us go ahead and first write down what we see, which triangles are similar. First, I will write down. Let us consider now triangles A, B, P, comma, triangle D, B, C. If you look at these two triangles ABP, DBC, we have angle ABP what we have constructed. So, we can directly write down that angle ABP equal to angle DBC. Not only that, we also know that angle BAP is equal to angle BDC. Why these two are equal? Because these are angles in the same segment. How we can understand that? Let us go to BC. From BC, if you go to A, that is angle BAC. From BC, if you go to D, that is angle BDC. Angles in the same segment are equal. But angle BAC is equal to angle BAP and angle BDC is angle BDC. So, we have AA similarity criteria. That means, we can write down the corresponding sides. So, let therefore, we know that these two triangles are similar to each other by AA similarity criteria. We will write down that. Therefore, triangle ABP is similar to triangle DBC by AA similarity criteria. Now, from that what we can understand, let us write down. We can write down the corresponding sides based on that. So, we will write down the corresponding sides. The corresponding sides are AB divided by 1, 2 divided by 1, 2, AB divided by DB equal to 2, 3 divided by 2, 3 that is BP divided by BC equal to 3, 1 divided by 3, 1 or 1, 3 divided by 1, 3 which is equal to AP divided by CD. Now, we are interested to prove AC into BD. So, we will take here where we have part of AC and BD. So, we will consider 
we'll consider those parts where we have AP and the other part where we have BD. So we'll consider these two and we will cross multiply. So we will get, can we write down now, AP into DB is equal to AB into CD. So you can see very clearly that we got one part of what we need. We got AP into DB equal to AB into CD. So AB into CD right hand side part of it we got. And here we have AP into BD. So obviously from the next one I should get PC into BD so that I can write down AB plus PC equal to AC. So let's write down this what we got now. Our first equation is we'll write down here AP into BD. I'll write down here AP into BD is equal to AB into CD. Now once we are done with that, let's go to our second triangle and see what we can get from that. We know for sure we should be able to getting PC into BD should be equal to AD into BC. Now for that which triangles we have to consider, let's have a look at that. Now let us consider the second diagram. What we have done here is now we will consider two other triangles. Those triangles are, we'll write down in triangle. Earlier you remember we have considered ABP triangle. Now we will consider ABD triangle. So I'll write down triangle ABD, comma, triangle ABD triangle. So similarly on the other side will be, maybe we'll change it a little bit so that it's easy to write down. We'll start with the equal angles. So I will say triangle BDA comma triangle. We know B is equal to B on this side also. So it will be B. Then afterwards this is C here and this is P. Now let's understand which angles are equal. First we know that angle BDA equal to angle BCP. These are again, if you are looking from, if you are looking from AB, then AB to D is BDA and AB to C is angle BCA, but BCA equal to BCP. So these are nothing but coming from angles in the same segment are equal. We can write down angles in the same segment. You can finish that. I'll try angles in the same segment are equal. Now what is the other angle we can have? A triangle ABD. What we started with is angle ABP equal to angle DBC. But what we need is angle ABD here. So what we will do? We'll take angle ABP and we'll write down here on the other side that's equal to angle AP, ABP equal to angle DBC. But we will add this common angle whatever is there. Let us say that's equal to that is equal to angle DBP. We will add DBP both sides. Then we will have angle ABD is equal to angle ABD is equal to angle PBC. It's, a, it's like we have 40 degrees, 40 degrees here and the in between angle is 20 degrees. So we know 40 plus 20 this side, 40 plus 20 that side, both of them are equal to 60, 60. Now again we can write down, therefore triangle BDA is similar to triangle BCP. Then we can write down the corresponding sides. We can write down BD by 1, 2 by 1, 2, BD by BC equal to 2, 3 DA by CP. This works out as long as you made sure that your angles are at 
corresponding angles are equal BA divided by BP now last time we got AP into BD at the time we discussed that we need to get AC into BD that means we need to have PC in our next time PC into BD so where is our PC into BD we are interested into that one so we will take the this part and this part we will do cross multiplication and can we write down CP into or PC into BD equal to AD into BC so we'll go ahead and write down that's our second equation we'll write down PC into BD is equal to AD into BC now once we are done with it we have two equations now this is equation 1 for us and this is equation 2 we'll club both of them we should be able to get our formula so before that the only one point which I want to stress upon what we have to understand clearly is that when we went for the first set of triangles we have taken triangle ABP and we have taken triangle DBC now you can see that this triangle is small whereas this triangle is big when we went to the reverse we took big triangle on this side and we took small triangle on that side for that we have to work a little bit on the angle because this common angle we have to add both of them so we know angle ABP equal to angle DBC now we have to add angle DBP on both the sides so that we can get angle ABD equal to angle PBC that is the only part which is careful we have to understand clearly we, if that is done then the proof is pretty much simple now let's finish this adding 1 and 2 what we will get let's write down AP into BD plus PC into BD is equal to AB into CD plus AD into BC we got our right hand side for left hand side we will do a small simplification we will take BD common and we will write down AP plus PC we can take BD common and we will have here AB into CD plus AD into BC now we know AP plus PC equal to AC so we can write down AC into BD is equal to AB into CD plus AD into BC that is what we need to prove so let's summarize this what we have done we have been given a cyclic quadrilateral ABCD we have to prove that the product of diagonals is equal to sum of the products of the opposite sides AD AC into BD equal to AB into CD its opposite side plus AD into BC its opposite side AC into BD equal to AB into CD plus AD into BC to prove that the first thing what we have done now we know that angles in same segment are equal will give us one angle when we take couple of triangles we need to get one more angle so for that what we did on AC we have dropped a line from B in such a way that uh, angle ABP equal to angle DBC now you can see that triangle ABP and the triangle DBC are similar to each other by a, a similarity criteria next time we have considered triangle ABD and the triangle PBC in this case we have set of one set of angles coming from angles in the same segment are equal and the other set of angle which are equal is coming from taking whatever that ang angle we have constructed whatever the angles we made equal earlier that is angle ABP and angle DBC for that we added the common part that is angle DBP that small angle we have in between we added to both of them then we understood that angle ABD equal to angle ABD equal to angle PBC so once we got our both the equations we just added them we took the similarity criteria we consider only that 
pair of sides which will give us the right hand side AB into CD AD into BC. We simplify we get the product of diagonals equal to sum of the products of opposite sides of a cyclic quadrilateral that is Ptolemy's theorem proof. Thanks for your time and support. Bye for now. I'll catch you once again with another interesting video or example. Till then keep smiling and sharing. Bye for now.